Hey mama, it's Whitney, and I want to talk to you today about self-care days. Do you ever get to take a self-care day? Like, do the stars ever align and maybe you're getting off work early for some reason, there's a half day, the kids are still at school, your husband's not home and you can just do whatever you want? Or maybe you actually plan it, right? Maybe once a month you're saying, I need to take some time to myself and on a Saturday, or even not during a work day, you take some PTO and do something for yourself. Um, I hope that you do because self-care days are <laughs> extremely important. Um, it's so easy to get worn down being pulled in so many different directions and serving and helping so many other people. Uh, the thing that gets a little scary is if on your self-care day, you don't actually know what to do. So I've got some tips for you on what to do during a self-care day. The first thing is write them down, right? So like I write down what it is that I plan to do um, so that I don't forget. And at the bottom of the blog post uh, related to this video, I have a worksheet that you can download too. It's got all of these ideas and some space for you to write your own. Um, so let's go ahead though and jump into it. Like here are some things, wonderful things that you can do on a self-care day. The first thing is to make no plans, right? That is amazing to me. Um, to have no plans at all. It is a very rare thing. And that can be your self-care day. Wake up and then decide what you wanna do based on how you're feeling. You'll still probably wanna have a list of things to choose from, so let's get into those. Um, again, I write them down. So the first is uh, watch something funny. It is always good to laugh. There is nothing more healing than a great belly laugh. So on your self-care day, Take some time to watch something funny. It could be a sitcom that you like or a movie or a stand-up comedian. Netflix has so many specials out right now. Um, Ali Wong, yes, if you haven't seen it yet. Um, she is a very funny lady um, who does the stand-up skits anyway on Netflix. She's pregnant in them and it's just, it's amazing. Um, so Ali Wong, you could check that out. But honestly, just whatever you're into that makes you laugh, do that. Plan to watch something funny on a self-care day. Um, another thing you can do is to make something. Make something with your two hands. And that can be, you know, really depending on what you're into, just about anything. Making something can mean baking, it can mean painting, it can mean writing poetry, it can mean doing woodwork, it can be putting together an engine, like I don't know what you're into. Um, but whatever it is, just make something. Take some time during that day to um, put your hands into a skill and, and make something. Um, journal. Journaling is amazing. It's extremely cathartic. There's no right or wrong way to journal. Just get a pen, put it to paper and write. Let your thoughts come out, free flowing thoughts. Um, there's a couple articles on my blog too. If you just search journal or how to journal uh, with some questions to help provoke you, right? If you need some help figuring out how to journal. Um, some of them are like, what are your favorite memories? Um, what's a memory that you'd love to plan? What would you do if you won the lottery? Um, what are the dreams you have for your children? Anything. I mean, you can really journal about anything, um, but if you need some prompters, there you go. Those are a few. The next one is to plan your week. Now I know you're saying it's a self-care day and why am I going to do some work? Planning your week can really help to relieve a lot of stress. And on your self-care day, one of the things you want to do is relieve stress. So if you're not one of those people who already have time set aside to plan your week, during your self-care time, take some time to plan your week or even your month. Um, planning out what it is you're going to do is really a great stress reliever. Um, another thing along those lines is to do some small tasks. If there are tasks that have just been piling up, you know, maybe it's like, I don't know, unclog a certain drain or pick up the things in the garage or um, clean behind that windowsill, whatever it could be, whatever tiny tasks that you have that are mounting up, take some time to do them. I know it's work on a self-care day, but again, it's going to relieve stress. And that's the whole point is to relieve your stress. So if there is a whole long list of tiny, tiny things that are annoying, you just haven't got to block an hour during your self-care day. Don't do the whole day. Just block an hour and get through as many as you can. That way the next day you'll feel relieved. And that's kind of the point, right? Of the self-care day. Let's see. I've got two more for you. Oh no, I've got three. Um, go outside. So even if you plan to do nothing on your self-care day, but lay in bed and have some wine and watch Netflix, take a moment to go outside and get some fresh air. Take a walk around the block. If you have a car and you can drive, go to the park um, or take a hike, you know, get out into nature, but get some fresh air, feel the sun on your face. Um, you know, we're so busy that 
we often don't have time to just enjoy being outside. And it is one of the best stress relievers. Uh, so take some time to get outside. Along those lines, and you don't have to do this outside, you can do it inside, but sweat. I know, work out on a self-care day. Yes, work out. It doesn't have to be intense. I'm not saying do 30 minutes of straight burpees. Um, you can do some yoga, take a Zumba class. Uh, there's plenty of free workouts on YouTube. Just Google whatever you're into. Dance workout, cardio workout, lifting workout. Like they're all gonna be on YouTube. Um, but take some time during your self-care day to sweat. Um, a long walk will do this for you too. A long walk at a brisk pace is a great way to sweat. Working your body helps when you sweat, like it gets the toxins out, when it makes you just, you know, feel better. So take some time to sweat. Um, and the last one that I'll share with you is to spend some time with someone you love. If you can, on your self-care day, plan to spend an hour or two with someone that you care about, go to brunch with a girlfriend, hang out with your husband, whatever it is, or whoever it is, I guess I should say, um, that is definitely going to relieve um, some of your stress and have you feeling better the next day. So there you have it. Those are your tips for what to do on a self-care day. Don't forget, you can go ahead and get this sheet um, that has all those ideas with some space for you to write down what makes sense for you on the blog. Thanks again for listening. And um, if you know a mama who's planning a self-care day, feel free to send this video to her so she can have some great ideas too.